Hey guys, this is Sam here with South Hills Lincoln. Today in this video, I'm gonna go over with you the interior cargo dimensions of the 23 Navigators. I am measuring this in 22s, but the 23 is the same body style and it helps with SEO, I guess. <laughs> For anybody who watches this and is very, very particularly interested in the Navigator, we do have some on the way, 2023s, and we also are able to order 2023s. If that's something you're interested in, give us a call at 724-941-1600 and always ask for SAM or extension 522. But I'm gonna start with the short wheelbase and the long wheelbase. I am gonna show you with the second and third row up, I'm gonna show you from the front to back of the cargo area measured. I'm also gonna show you from side to side. I'm also gonna go over the third row down as well as the second row down, what the measurements are. This video is for uh, moms, dads, parental or legal guardians, travel, for people who travel a lot, people who need a lot of space to, to haul things around and like to use these vehicles to do that. All right guys, so let's start with the short wheelbase, shall we? So I'm gonna begin with the front to back measurement of this cargo area in the middle because as you can see over here, there's a little bit of a, you know, it's not straight exactly, the line. All the way down here, you're talking about probably 18 and three quarter inches. Over here, it's probably more like maybe 16 and a half, 16 three quarters. With my mounted camera, I don't exactly have enough space to do the full, full view of the whole thing. So you guys are gonna have to trust me here. I can promise you it is going to be 51 inches from side to side, about 51. And that's in the cargo area. Now with the third row down, this is, 49 and a quarter. By the way, it might sound like I'm just I'm just rattling off a bunch of numbers, but at the end of the day, you can easily use these numbers. You can measure your strollers, you can measure your luggage, you can measure your golf clubs, everything that, again, you're gonna need a lot of space to fit into this vehicle, and then you can kind of be the judge yourself. I mean, a lot of Lincoln dealers right now have virtually zero navigators on their lot. I've been waiting probably six or seven months just to film this video so that we would have, <laughs> we would have a short and long one. And then all the way back. By the way, this is without sliding the second row seats forward. For anyone who does not know, you can slide them forward. Might be able to get a little bit extra space. 47 from the front of the third row down to the back. All right, let's see if I can uh, get my way to the... All right, you can do this, Sam. I believe in you. All right, all right. Oh no, it's bending. It's bending, everyone. It's not bending too much. It's not bending enough that it's a very, very strikingly inaccurate measurement. I'll put it that way. In fact, I'll even take a picture with my phone of how much it's bending just so that you guys can actually see. For the sake of bendiness, uh, we'll go with probably about eight, we'll go with about 82. 82, give or take maybe half an inch. Now, as long as there's nothing obstructing the second row seat from going all the way down, it does fold flat for anybody curious. I get that question a lot from customers. For simplicity's sake, I'm gonna measure from here to here. I should have been doing this all along probably. From here to here, about three and a half, maybe, maybe three and five eighths. 82 minus three and a half is 78 and a half. But that is both rows up, the third row down and the second row down for the short navigator. Let's go to the long one. Now, just for the sake of understanding kind of in relevant terms, I wanna show you guys side to side what the short and long wheelbases look like, give you sort of an idea of how much uh, the space that is. Now, I've looked into this and the extra length of the long wheelbase just about doubles the cubic feet of space behind the third row. That's why it looks so extended in the third row. Because they account just about, if not all of that extra space to extended length of the third row. It's extremely common that customers will upgrade from an aviator or a navigator into a navigator L once they have maybe a second or third, definitely around fourth child. You guys are gonna need a lot of uh, space to haul all sorts of uh, sports equipment or, or music whatever, art supplies, stuff like that. Kids are very curious people. They have a lot of hobbies. They have a lot of interests. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to let, the, uh, let my shadow get in the way of this, but give or take a quarter, you're looking at 30 and a half inches from the back of the third row to the back of the vehicle. The shorter part of this is going to be 28 and a quarter. One of my favorite things about the na Navigator, it's very trivial, but when the third row's up and you're putting it down, it goes down and it's like pew, pew, like. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Flatten these out. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna measure this all the way over from all the way over here. This is with the third row down, 60 and three quarters. For the sake of showmanship, or as people my age, I'm 25, like to call it flexing, perhaps. The outer edges is gonna be 
60. For the third row down on the long wheelbase. Let's take a look at the second row down. All right. All right, I feel like I'm fishing. Come on, Sam. You can do it. Again, with the, uh, with the whole bendy straw. I gotta get new measuring tape. <laughs> 93 inches. Again, give or take half an inch because of the bendy straw. 93 inches, it's gonna be 89 and a half from all the way to the front here or here with the second and third row down. Now, a couple other things I wanna go over with you guys about the long wheelbase. I wanna talk a little bit about extra cargo room. All right, I'm also gonna open the shore wheelbase door so you guys can see. Now, you see this whole gadgetry here. Is that even a word, gadgetry? So under here, and to open this, by the way, you put your fingers under this, and then you pull it right up like that. They have a little cargo net. They got some cargo space, okay? And then they also have the jack, in case you need that. But the L doesn't just have this. It actually takes it a step further. What the L has is a little bit of uh, extra. L stands for little. Just kidding. It stands for long, like long wheelbase. But they added a little bit of extra cargo room underneath, so you can see what that would be look that would look like and to give you a little bit of extra space they put the jack underneath that in a different position isn't that crazy total utilitarian i mean uh, seriously now it may not entirely double the space but it's pretty close behind the third row so I'm gonna go back to the inside and we're gonna wrap this thing up. All right guys, so those are the interior cargo measurements for the 2023 Navigator and Navigator L. Please let me know if there are any specific cargo measurements that I'm missing and I will make sure to add those to my pinned comment at the top of the comments below. Again, we do have some Navigators on the way and available and we are also taking orders for 2023s. If that's something you're interested in, give us a call at 724-941-1600 and always, always ask for Sam or extension 522 and we're going to get you the navigator of your dreams. Other than that, I am trying to work with as many people as humanly possible. So I will pay you for every person who comes in and buys from me saying you referred them. If they come in and buy from me and we know that you sent them, we will send you a check as a thank you. For anyone who doesn't want a brand new Lincoln, we do have a very generous, mostly certified pre-owned inventory. We have a Ford store I can sell through as well. And for anybody who lives far from Pittsburgh, we do deliver. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, but thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day.